Hello everyone. Uh, this is the this is Taeyong from Midas IT. So thank you for coming today. Uh, we are going to walk through mastering Midas service series on Midas Academy. So today is fourth time of mastering Midas Civil. So we had three lessons about the basic basic uh, basic training about Midas Civil. So today's subject is section properties. Okay, so here are today's content. The first one we will look at, we will, we will look into section properties of Maida Sibyl. After that, there is some, uh, there is a edit, additional uh, function to make the uh, user define the section. We called it a section, uh, sectional property calculator. Short form is SPC. So we will we will see how to use SPC function to make our own section. After that, uh, we will see addi additional options for section properties in Maida Civil. Uh, and lastly, we will look into about the frequently asked question from Global Technical Center of Maida. Okay, so first topic is section properties. So I will show you a quick demonstration about uh, how to create section properties and what, where, what it, which, and uh, which, which section types my Civil has like that. So let's go to the my Civil. So where? Oh. Okay, I will turn on the Mida Sibyl. So I'm reading the opening of my decibel now. Okay, okay. Okay, got it. Okay. So I click the new project here. Uh, actually, I prepared other one. Okay, this is a uh, this is this is a sample model of my Sibi. So I borrow I bring some the simple model. It has a three six beam element and no section and one it has one material properties and two boundary condition. So this is simple simple single span 
single span beam. So to create a uh, section property, uh, you can see the properties tab here. And uh, in the below side, you can find section properties. If you click this, the properties tab will be will be popped up. So if you want to new section pro properties, just click add button. So section data dialog will be opened and you can create, you can define the section properties uh, properties here. So you can select the select the database in the each date national code or you can input directly for your uh, section so i will create a simple model here and uh, after creating uh, after defining a section and if you want to modify uh, existing section just click select uh, existing model and click modify and after that, what I'll just some value here. Click OK. And if you want to copy the, the existing model, just click and copy. Uh, the section properties can have it can be able to have the same name, but it 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 should be it, it should have unique number ID ID number. Because the MIDA civil manage the section properties data uh, using the, the ID number. After that, if you want to delete the section property, just click the delete button. And also, you can import section properties from the existing model file. So, for that, click the import button. and uh, find the existing model and uh, bring this model and uh, if you if some id number is duplicated you can assign the new id number here so we have a four section properties like this and also using by using read number uh, option we can rearrange uh, we, we can reassign the ID number again here. Let's see. So the beam element has number one section here. So in the model view, you can modify, you can assign the section property to the element. So this is hidden view. Hidden view, it, you can find hidden view uh, in the upper side of model view. It shows the element with the section like this. So if you want to uh, change the section, just select the element and uh, select, select the section properties in the worst tree and uh, drag and drag down. So we, we got other section here. Okay. Let's move back to the section properties. Yeah. So there are a lot of uh, tabs for uh, to define the various section shape. So let's walk through all of them. So there is DB user and value, and the steel reinforced first concrete concrete section and the combined section and pre-stress concrete section and uh, tapered section and this is composite gutter section and the last one is steel gutter so you can see in the all tabs, you can find the consider share deformation option and consider warping effect option 
and change of that option, you can see. So this is the common option for all section properties. The, the first one is constant share deformation. It, it, is, uh, it is to select the uh, element, element model type the, between the Euler beam or Timoshenko beam. So if you check on the constant share deformation, uh, you can, you can, uh, the software will consider the deformation due to deformation in the section plane due to the shear force. So the engineering word is Timoshenko, Timoshenko beam. So if you, if you don't want this Timoshenko beam, you just check off this option. After that, the software will consider only uh, the bending strain like that. But basically, software uh, check on the constant shear deformation here. And then next one is constant warping effect. This is uh, if you check on this option, you can consider a software uh, will calculate the warping effect. Actually, this option is uh, developed for etched code usually and then and then also you can find the change offset change offset is let's see as you can see the blue one is centroid position of this section but the change offset can change the, the position of central point of section to the below side or upper side or left side or we want the where we want. So I will give you more detail in explanation about change of that after the next slide. So the concept is we can change the we can change the section, the position on the element like this. So if you change, if I change center to center type, the section, the section location will be changed. Okay, a black. Okay, I see. Okay, I change this co the background color as a black. Okay. Okay, let's go to the section properties tab again. So now we will look at look into DB user section. So DB user section has the, uh, the various section template like angle channel, T section, I section, or solid rectangle or solid octagon like this. And it has the user type and DB type. DB means database. So if you select the DB, so you can you can select the, some uh, national design code like British standard or KS Korea for Korean and IES and AIS, AISC. After that, you can select the DB section here. Or if you want, if you do not want, uh, or want to use the database section, you just select the user type and it put, put your, uh, your own value to define the section like this. And then after entered some, after entered the dimension of section, you can see the section properties. It is important for the analysis. So you can see the section properties here, show calculation leaders. So this option shows the area, a second moment inertia or other, Centroid position like this, 
and uh, yeah, it shows the section pro properties. So the DBN user, when you in the DBN user, when you in, enter the dimension for the section, the this this tab will calculate the section properties automatically. Okay, let's move on the value value type. So this is the value type. It is also uh, the, the similar similar to the DB and user tab. The and the, especially uh, in the value type, you can import the section file, which is the defined in the SPC sectional property calculator. So you can import your own section file here. And also uh, you can input, let's see. And also you can input the uh, section size. Uh, you can also input the section property directly. So when you don't want, do not want to section shape only uh, section, only one to section properties. So you can just input the section properties for your analysis like this. So, so this is this is area. Just so calculate the design report like this. So you can input the the section property the in manual to create the section. Let's see. Like this. Why jet like this? So you can modify or value or, or other things here. Okay, let's move on. And uh, next one is PSC section. The PSC is pre-stressed concrete section. There are uh, there is some various section like PSC box gutter and multi cell gutter like this, and uh, PSC meat gutter and PSC eye. The meat, the PSC meat and PSC hop gutter type is for uh this kind of multi cell box gutter so we can when you when you model the this multi cell box gutter as glaze model there are so there are some gutter element so you can put put the pc mid in the middle side and you can put the pc hops hop uh section type into the at the both end here And then, yeah, and PCI is can be used as a just I I section. And also here is PCC MP web section. It means it, it, it means the PCC gutter with corrugated metal panel. So like so like this gutter. So let's see. And uh, when you use template uh, section, we can see a lot of option to define the section shape. But you, if you uh, have a plan only, have a plan about analysis only, because the MIDA Civil has analysis function and the design function, but sometimes we want only analysis function. So. So as you can see, there is a share check, share check and web thickness. So those are for the design feature. So if you want to the analysis model only, uh, you can ignore this option. So I will when when I when I perform when I 
make a model for the analysis, I just check on the other option. And also you can find the messy size for stiffness calculation. Actually the PSC section has like a plain section here. So the internally the MIDA CB calcul the divide the section with using the mesh. After that, the software gets their its section properties. So, so you can control the message size for the calculating stiff section properties. But uh, it is actually not. Uh, it it is it doesn't affect quietly quiet to the calculation sections properties. So you can normally you can ignore this option. And uh, and also the uh, when you design your design your bridge model, sometimes there is your section is not typical section. So here you can uh, you can import your section data or you can define the section the section shape with the uh, by the coordinates so let's see so i will click the define by coordinates option so here you can input the coordinate the coordinates of your section to define the section shape so let's see here is the example And uh, so I will create this shape of section. So I extract is the coordinate. So I need one outer polygon number and inner polygon number. So I have three, three dialog. And I just copy and paste them into here. So you can see the, the section is created. Yeah, so you can define the PSC section by coordinates. And also actually, so you can input the section properties directly. So the PCC value type is similar to the value section. But if you want to use the design feature for uh, PSC, you should make your section as a PSC value. And also here, section data. Under the section data, there are two options. One is database and import from SPC. So here's the DB. DB has some uh, national code and it, each code has the national section type like this. So there are UK, Italy, USA, Australia, New Zealand, and Russia. So you can select one just click OK to import this section. Yeah. And next one is import from SPC. So you can import section file directly like this. And so it has the share check and thickness for torsion option. So you can input the diff you can use auto option and uh, input input so one millimeter or one meter whatever if you it is it doesn't care what uh, it doesn't matter when you have when you have uh, analysis only and also if you don't want to the design feature you can input any value here to create to create the section. Okay. 